Okay, so let's set this on gas mark 5 actually, not 6. Okay, my oven is on. Let it warm up for around 5 minutes and to prep it, I'm going to put it on this and I'm going to make sure that the bottom isn't touching the actual tray. And you can either use aluminium foil or like me, I'm using some of these screws so these are held in place by a very very tiny amount of friction that I've used by just slightly tightening it whilst of course not cracking the board it just until I felt a bit of friction so it stays in place and these are just wooden screws so I'm letting the oven warm up for a few minutes and once it does, I'm going to uh, leave this in the oven for around 9 minutes. So according to a, pe a few people that do repair videos uh, on YouTube, what reballing does, well, people say that uh, you reball the joints and that's what gets the uh, graphics card working again. But according to Lewis Rossman, for example, that's not what actually fixes it. What actually fixes it is uh, the heat. Uh, heating up the chip, apparently this one, that actually fixes the issue. Um, either way, um, it doesn't. I don't really care how it fixes it. Well, I kind of do, I kind of don't. Uh, basically, the point is, it did fix it before. That I fixed quite a few graphics cards that I had before, and uh, when they were going out, when they wouldn't turn on, it, or when they, when they were producing artifacts, I would do this trick, and it got the problem solved. So... Although uh, Lewis Rossman, for example, argues that it's not the solder joints that um, are fixing the issue. It's not that. It's actually the heating up of the chip that's actually fixing the issue. So um, I'm going to give it a few more minutes for it to warm up. And I'm going to basically put it in. And nine minutes later, I'm going to take it out. I'm not going to record that because you get it. Right. Fingers crossed. Yeah. And now keep an eye on your timer. So it is nine past four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yep, I'm waking up four o'clock in the morning, but well, fuck it. So I'm gonna do this around nine minutes later. Okay, it's been around nine to ten minutes, so let's get it out. Turn it off. And oven mitts, very important, slowly and easy. Ooh. Right, and now I'm just gonna leave this just to cool down because you do not want to touch that while it's that hot. So, yeah, looks good, looks unaffected in terms of uh, like nothing's burnt. This is all a uh, high resistant, high heat resistant materials that they use, of, of course. So, they're, these are components that are meant to get hot, you know. So, it's not like we've done something that will destroy it. I, I don't think, at least. I mean, um, I've done this many times before, so, but we don't know, we don't know if this will fix the problem or not, so let's give it, i say half an hour for it to cool down, and then I'll reassemble it. Okay, so here's the GPU. Uh, well, God, I don't even know if this is a GPU, but it looks like a GPU, like a laptop GPU to me. Uh, one thing that it did fry, it had some stickers here that I didn't remove. Should be okay though, but I guess we'll find out whenever actually we turn it back on so before we put it back on just get rid of that thermal paste and then I'm gonna repaste that with uh, some brand new paste Okay, that'll do it nearly. And, uh, that'll do. So let's undo this. What's that? Here's a little spreading mechanism. <laughs> Not mechanism. I think I could do some more actually. Actually, I'd rather. Have it squeeze out a bit. 
more than under. <laughs> I know people will criticize me like a lot for this, but I don't really care. Oh, making it's weird how it's moving away from the metal, like it doesn't want to stay. Yeah, you know, like. Weird. That'll do. Yeah, so the bottom is fine, even though this happened. Should I get this off? I can just leave that. To be honest, that's no big deal. There we go. Now I need to align these correctly. There we go. And then, do I want to? No, I need to screw it on after. So, yeah, yeah. So like that, basically. No need to over tighten it. Just until you feel resistance, basically. Then do this. That is going to attach to these black ones as well. So at the moment, this is still like one piece in a way. Okay. I'm not sure the purpose of this thing anyway. Let's have a look what positioning was around the middle in between them. Yep, here. was this one into this port that goes one in here into this slot okay right, I need to make sure you guys can see so Need to make sure the cables go into the right slots. Yeah. yeah, that's much easier than taking it out. Okay. Excuse me. screws was it that yeah I think it was this uh, so let's do that Can actually put this clips back in. That actually didn't affect anything in terms of holding it in place. Um, was it 
think it was black screws, wasn't it? Yeah, it was black screws. Fan back in first. What about the wiring? Was it out of it? Yep. And secure it in place with the white screw. Is it a white screw? I think so. Reconnect this cable here. And then tuck it in here. Both short cables. <coughs> Excuse me. The down arrow goes down. So let's get this inserted first, and then we put a clip. Gonna use these tiny scissors without cutting the wires just to push it in place. There we go. Okay. Yep. And then gonna pull the pin carefully. Try not to scratch the PCB itself. Oh, scratch the PCB a little bit. But it feels good. I just forgot to put the sticker back on. And that, if that even will stick back on. Not a big deal. Something like that. Yeah, it looks like that. Yeah. Make sure there's no cables underneath. Yep, yeah, no cables, just there. And here. So this is what this is what you want to put this in. This corner into here, onto this black piece, then black piece here. And here. Yeah. Okay, so let's put the connector back in. Twelve, whatever that means, twelve. It's got twelve number there. That's connected. I don't know what this one this probably goes in a pixel pixel. This goes in here. Is that in here? Yep, in here. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay. Where were we? There's... Like that. There's, can it go anywhere? Don't think it can go like that. No. It's one way only. Lift the wires out from underneath. Yep, 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 yep. And then got a silver screw at the bottom as it was before. And a black screw at the top. It's black short screw, not the vase screw. Okay. Now I can reconnect this uh, pixel wires. 
And after this, I think is when I'm actually going to try to turn it back on without putting the without putting the the enclosure back on. Because if it doesn't work, if this hasn't fixed the problem, then I'll probably still need to go for replacing the main board or something of sort. Why is this like that? But let's find out. After I do this. Alright, we can actually tuck some of these cables away. We just provided clips that are here, everywhere. And then put this back on. I'm not sure what the point of that is. Maybe grounding? Could be that. I'm going to do this myself, but here, here, and here. Nothing on the left side. Here, here, and here. So I'll do that now. Now I just need power. Oh my god, what happened? What happened there? Oh shit.